Well, given our recent experience with the bats... Well, hey there, hi there, hello there, friends. Welcome back to Bluegrass Farm. Hey, hope you're doing great today. Weather report is clear and sunny tomorrow for the flower dance. Ooh, do we go to the flower dance? <sighs> Year one? Hmm, with no one to dance with? Uh, just for the sake of seeing the event, maybe something's different? Err, I am not sure. I'll, th I'll think, I'll, I'm thinking no, but you never know. Very happy spirits, though. Well, that sounds like going to the mine. Hey, I have some good news. A few days ago, I made a breakthrough in my research in the uh, local environment. I'll spare you the details and get to the point. The empty cave you have in the cliffs. I have a way to turn it into something useful for both of us. Set up the cave to attract the local species. I can observe them and you can harvest whatever they make. Mushrooms or fruit bats? Well, given our recent experience with the bats, that's a hard sell. But given the fact that in this update, you can eventually make a mushroom thing on your farm, I don't want to be inundated with too many mushrooms. Um, so, <laughs> uh. Which one do I need more in the community center? I ask myself and I say, I don't know because I didn't think to look at that. And, uh, yeah. That makes, that makes things more challenging, doesn't it? I, I, oh. I almost always go with mushrooms. Could just make brown mushrooms into fall seeds pretty easily. It's a good way to get hazelnuts to make roasted hazelnut for Kent. Uh, we're going to go with the bats. Look, we're going to we're going to go with the fruit. All right. We'll go with the fruit. I feel like that's a poor idea, but whatever, it's fine. Hello, kitty cat. All right, what other mail do we have? Tomorrow we're getting together for the flower dance. If you can find a partner, you might even want to dance. There's a little clearing Okay, show up if you're interested. Well, I'm thinking I won't be, but I will continue to debate that internally for a couple minutes. And, uh, uh, you know, we'll figure it out. It is the 23rd. The only things we could grow at this point are parsnips. Are they even worth my time and energy of trying to get some seeds for it? I don't think they are. We'll just harvest what we have here and call it good. The kale is growing nicely. Now, one of the things that we should probably think about is what are we going to grow a lot of in the summer? I'm thinking blueberries, but then I always think blueberries because I love growing blueberries. So that, you know, probably makes sense. Um... Melons do make an awful lot of money. They just take a lot longer to grow. Hmm. Well, something to think about. Um, yeah, definitely something to think about. Do we try to get some beehives before then? And that will require iron. And in order to get iron, we're going to have to... We'd have to go into the mines a lot, obviously, and get down to those floors. But we still need more copper to upgrade the rest of our tools. So do we skip some other tools in favor of upgrading something else to iron, like the watering can or our pickaxe, maybe? Speaking of the pickaxe, I'm pretty sure it's not ready. And the downside with that is it's going to be really hard to do anything in the mines today. And in addition to that, it's going to be really irritating tomorrow because the uh, it won't be ready. Because Clint's closed, it'll be a festival day, and we probably should have thought that one through a little bit more when we dropped it off. And now that I do think it through, that's really irritating. Um, yeah, boy, how are we gonna how are we gonna get around that problem? Hmm. I mean, sure, we could go fishing, but 
I was really hoping to make some progress in the mine. And I don't remember seeing a message that our pickaxe was ready. So, maybe what we do is we spend a bit of time looking for some more wood pieces on the farm that we can get to real quick here. There's some bushes as well. And maybe we uh maybe we chop down some more trees. So I'm thinking that might be useful. We could use the wood. And we're gonna have to start clearing off some more crop space. Uh, so that we can have enough room in the summertime to expand where we're growing things. Although, wow, we're going to need more energy or sprinklers or something for that. And of course, for all those things, well, you know, we're going to need to have the joy that is the pickaxe. My dog is going crazy upstairs, and it's really irritating. I cannot fathom what he is currently barking at. There should be nothing outside to bark at currently, unless the squirrels are out. And if the squirrels are out, we are much later into spring than I thought. Okay, well, let's, tr like I said, let's just go around. We'll try and clean up the rest of this, rest of these pieces of wood anyway. And Oh, we could probably go down into the cinder sap woods and try and clear out a bunch of stuff there as well. It all needs to get done, you know, just a question of when you're doing it. Also, if you hear a timer, like the microwave timer, go off. I believe the wife is making some things in the kitchen right now, so... I'm not saying it'll happen, but you know, just in case. Every once in a while, the sound bleeds over. I do have the noise gate set pretty well on the microphone, so most of the time I'll hear things, but you, you will not. You will not notice them. Maybe the dog. You might notice the dog. I think he's literally right above me. <laughs> Uh, nothing like being in the basement, friends. Gotta love it. Okay, so... What? Oh, hello. That's a stump, right? Yes. Alright, let's get rid of this tree. Because every time I see the corner of that stump, I think to myself that it's just a stick. And, uh... That is not the case. And then... I think the bridge is... There's a way to get up there somewhere. Where is that at? Because that is where... Isn't it? No. Is it? No. Is it? I mean, there's stuff on the ground. I just, why is there not a way to get up there? There it is. Yeah, but we can't... Can't get through. So, we need to chop down this tree also. So that I can see where the where the bridge pathways are, because otherwise that's really gonna bug that's really gonna bug me. It's gonna drive me crazy. Okay, nice. Get some more seeds as well. We're over here. The pine cone. Shake a few trees, I guess. Yeah, bonus seed. All right. Ooh, bonus. Nice. Come to me, little seeds. I need you. And the game's like, you are very tired. And I'm like, I have salmon berries. Ha ha! I'm not tired at all. Lies! Look at that. Look how much more energy we have. Excellent. Alright, well, we did get another hundred wood. What does that put us at? 450. Hmm. Well, let's just think that through for a second. We have 450. We could build the barn. Robin, however, is busy today, and she will be busy tomorrow because of the festival. Uh, okay, okay, let's grab this. And uh, we will go down to the, f the forest. Look how cute the cat is. Oh, Tiger, you're adorable. Just a little flat plunk. Do you ever feel like you want to do that, friends? Do you ever want to just plunk yourself like that somewhere? Just plonk down and 
There you go. You know what I mean? There are days. There are days I feel that. Alright, let's do this. Let's switch those around. And then let's enjoy another mayonnaise. The sound of drinking mayonnaise will never leave me. I'm going to have, like, mayonnaise drinking PTSD. Which obviously is not a serious thing. PTSD is serious, but... I don't think... You know, drinking it in mayonnaise in a game is really that bad. Just, uh... Yeah, the sound effect just... It just... I don't know. <laughs> it's a mental image of drinking a thing of mayonnaise. I just... I don't think I can get over it. That's all I'm saying. Right, let's just clear a little bit more of this off. Now, if we were going to plant some more crops... Where would we do it? Um, I'm... I'm, less, I'm thinking it would probably be, like, over here, right? Like, right in here? Because that's where the... Like, it's easy to get to the water right here to refill... Our... Um, watering can. So I'm thinking... Yeah, I, th I think clearing off a spot here made a lot of sense, actually. And we'll have to maybe keep doing that. Maybe we'll maybe we'll clear all this out before before summer. Can I Oh, you know. It would take a while, but Okay, we might do that tomorrow. <laughs> I just thought of something. And it's a little cheesy, but I'm considering doing it. And if I decide to do it, you'll see what I mean. And if I don't, then don't worry about it. Let's, yeah, let's, let's put it that way. Oh, neighbor to the south. Hello, I see you there. I see you. I don't have anything to gift to you at the moment. I'm very sorry. I have uh, only pieces of sticks. I have sticks. That's what I have. It's not, it's not that exciting. And, uh... I would not want to offer you just, just, you know, some wood. That would be odd. Imagine. Just offering a lady wood. You know, that would probably be misinterpreted. And that wouldn't go well for you. So you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that. There's so many jokes I'm not making right now. We're just moving past that, okay? We're just moving on. Hat Mouse, do you have new hats for me? I am curious. Ooh, there, that's a lot of forage down here today. Well, that's pretty nice. What do we got? The good old camp, the, the sou'wester, the band, the... St Ooh, you know... It's a shame they're so expensive because I'm pretty sure that you can put hats on cats. And hats on cats is amazing. Uh, and it's a lot of fun to say, hats on cats and hats on cats and hats on cats and hats on cats. I mean, like, there's just something to it, you know? It's got a rhythm. That's a squirrel. Hello, squirrel. <laughs> like, what did you talk about in your video today, Hillham? I talked about hats on cats. And let me tell you, there are a few things as good as a hat on a cat. Oh, goodness. Abs, have you put hats on your cats in real life? If you're listening to this video, leave me a comment. Let me know. I know you're busy recording your own series and all, but hopefully you have time to stop by at some point and, and hear this. <laughs> Speaking of abs, don't forget our good buddy Absurdum22 here on YouTube. One of my really good friends. Known him for years. And he is also doing... Uh, some 1.6 videos, so be sure to check him out. He is hilarious. Uh, I would argue he is funnier than myself. He certainly has the off-brand quirky humor that I enjoy. We continue to work to try to figure out something that we can do as a series together, but our schedules have not lined up, and uh, part of that's my fault, because this is a very busy time at work for me. So... That is kind of the reality of life right now. Oh, that was a bush. Okay. 
We are running low on energy, but that's okay, because we're also running low on sticks. <laughs> well, that's another 76 wood. Uh, that's pretty great. So that's a pretty great amount, actually. And now we can go this way. You know, I think this farm is going to necessitate some pathing. I'm going to want some paths eventually. And also, I'm thinking for aesthetics, maybe we leave some of the stumps. I don't usually do that. I usually just, you know, kind of kind of just cut them all down, but I'm thinking maybe we leave some. Kind of tempted. Ooh, there we go. There's more forage. Very good. Any forage up here? Does not appear to be. What about on the mountain pathway? Is that is that what that screen's officially called the way to robins here the northern path I, in my head i just think of it as the like the northern pathway or the path to robin to robin's house or the, the way to the mines or something like that what, what is the actual name of this uh of this screen i don't know oh it's 11 i just want to see if there's forage is there any forage that I can grab quickly and easily? No. Okay. <laughs> we did not level up foraging, I just want to note, despite attempting to. I did chop down several trees, and I had high hopes that that would assist in the leveling of foraging, but it does not seem to have. Right. I am going to need to make a chest. We are going to need a chest, so let's grab some of these. This is a, this is for the plan for tomorrow, okay? Like, look, it it'll make sense tomorrow, okay? Just just give me a second here. Go to sleep. Yes. Did I sell anything? I don't think I did. Oh, is that a fairy? <gasps> oh, I have not seen a fairy in a long time. And you did the potatoes. Of all the things that you could have boosted, you did potatoes. Well, you know, better than nothing. All right, Queen of Sauce Rerun is teaching us all about stir fry. What is up with that? That's like, between this series and the other series, that's like the fifth time I've seen stir fry in the last couple of days here. Neutral spirits weather report to our rain. Oh. Is our is our pickaxe done? Did I just like miss a memo? How long does it take, Clint? You know? No, oh, that was what was that? Was that a carrot? Nice. I'll take a carrot. What's the radius on the ferry? Cause like were the <laughs> were the potatoes gonna be done anyway? That would be like extra hilarious to me. Just saying. <laughs> oh, man. If they were going to be done anyway, that that's even funnier. Okay, what can we sell? We need to sell some things. We'll sell some potatoes. We're keeping those for gifts. Uh, we can sell those. We need that for the summer luau. Keep a couple of those around just in case. Um, yeah, we probably don't need that many. I'm not sure what we need kale for or or not for, but that's okay. We've got a bunch of these. We can make some more spring seeds. I should probably do that. Nine, nine, seventeen. Is that? That's it, right? Those are the only. No, dandelion, dandelions. We need dandelions. Hello. Huh? How many can we make? We can make quite a few. There we go. And do we keep these regular quality ones or do we sell them? Because we have 86 spring seeds. I think we just sell them. Yeah. Okay. We're going to do that. We're going to sell them. Here we go. Sell, sell. Sell, 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 sell. And sell. Okay. Say hello to the cat. Water some crops. Not that there's a lot left now because we just harvested a whole ton of them. 
but we will do this like so. And just a little more. There we are. What a weird, what a weird amount of water in these different directions now because of all that, but oh well, that's okay. I guess here we'll go down and we'll do one here. Okay. And we're getting close to like only one watering can's worth of work now. I mean, that'd be nice, right? If we don't have to refill the watering can like three times a day, that'll be great. I heard you there, chickens. I heard you. I heard your little bark. I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. Listen, I'll be there in a minute, okay? I'm just taking care of some friends down here. And we're out of water. Boy, that really is quite a walk, isn't it? Oh, goodness. Glad when that walking's over. Sprinklers of joy, come to me. I need you in my life. So we'll get one more harvest of strawberries, most of which we need to save to make seeds with. So not much money coming from that at this point, honestly, but that's okay. We made, we made a really good amount with that first, that first, uh, harvest. The flower dance has begun. Well, you know, good for the flower dance. I'm glad that it's begun. I think we'll go next year. We'll go next year to the flower dance. All right, so here's the plan. Here's what we're going to do. Remember how I said this was going to be... Oh, no, we can't do it. All right, so we need them to eat some of this. And then I'll pull it out, put it in here, pull it out, put it in, pull it out, put it in. Put it in a whole bunch. And then we can cut down more grass. <laughs> That's my whole plan. That's the plot of my life. That is what we'll be doing. Okay, so we can't go to the forest. And we can't go to the mine. Because <laughs> we have... Uh, we don't have a pickaxe. So, I guess we just go fishing in the ocean or the lake somewhere. We'll go somewhere. And I guess, oh, no, there's nothing on the board. I was going to say, we'll check the board and see if there's, there's nothing. Okay, well... Guess we'll check the garbage cans and see if we get lucky getting an item that we might need for something. Nothing? Okay. Alright. Well, let's look for forage on the beach then. Oh, there is a little spot there to the left. Should be some carrot seeds, probably. Summer squash seeds. Oh, that is perfect. Oh, yeah. Nice. We are going to grow those. You best be believing. Uh, are you here? Are you? It's locked. Yeah. <sighs> Darn festival days. Taking up all my time. I can't even go fishing at the normal spot. <laughs> in the river. Because. <laughs> the. Uh, <laughs> that would trigger the festival. Ah. Uh, Oh, I was a little slow on that one. Do 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 do. What was that? Oh, we got a new record seaweed or something. Is that what? I'm not sure what that was about. Perfect. An anchovy. Uh, so what's the other one? A sardine. Is that what that is? We got a sardine chovy. I do need seaweed, though, so we can, you know, try and get a, uh, what, what are they called? A fishing pond at some point. We need a fish pond. They are expensive, though. Uh, so that's going to be, a, you know, a pain to get, but... ba -ding! More sardines. Iridium. Iridium fish unite. Iridium fish, come to me. Let me catch you. What, what even's down in the ocean in the springtime? Not a lot, right? Like, 
a bunch of little tiny fish. There's a herring, I suppose. There's herring. Halibut. Halibut's okay. Do we get tilapia in spring? Maybe? I feel like we do. I could be wrong. The memory of my memory is, is not great. Oh, so many little fishes. Why must you be small? And perfect. That's what we like to see. Perfect catches really are the goal. You get a really nice experience bonus boost when you can get a perfect catch. It's very good to be able to do it. And I would argue that these fish are probably... You know, if you're having a hard time leveling up your fishing in the springtime, this is what you want. Come here during the day, catch these little tiny... Catch the little tiny guys. They will, they will give you some experience. And you might even find a treasure chest if you're fortunate. We've not been fortunate today. The spirits are neutral, so the chances of getting a chest are probably not as high as other days. I would enjoy, however, receiving a chest. There, look at that. See, ask, and you will receive. Thank you. Watch it, watch it just be like normal bait. Oh, there is a... Oh, it's a flounder. That's what I was thinking of. Not a tilapia. There is tilapia in the game. Look how cute that is. That holding up the fish like that. Was that a new record? Elven jewelry? Well, hello there. That is an exciting find, honestly. Excellent. I found some jewelry. I got some jewelry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's even blue. What a pretty color. Yes, more flounder. Come to me, flounders. You are what I want in my life. I would love it. Hey, flounder. You're the one that I want. You are the one that I... Honey. <laughs> oh, man. I'm cracking myself up over here. Oh, Seagull having a good day over there. I heard you, Seagull. I heard you. I heard you making the Seagull bird noises. I did. I did. Perfect. Catch. Bing. Hey, let's see where we're at here. Level 8. Uh, did we just hit level 8 today, or... Were we already there before we were fishing? I do not remember. Also, 90 for a gold star mayonnaise. So if you have two gold star mayonnaise, that's 180 energy. That's a lot of energy to get back. It really is. Big fan of that. Might not be a big fan of catching a lot of sardines, honestly. I prefer, you know, something else. Are sardines all day at the ocean? I don't know. Not sure. Oh, oh, that was close. That was close. <laughs> I almost failed the perfect. Oh, that would have been embarrassing. Almost as embarrassing as missing 1,110 catfish. Which, uh, that was, that was pretty sad for me, I have to admit. I was bummed out by that. Did we just get another new record? I click the button so fast that I just don't... I don't... I don't see if it's a new record or not. I just hear the noise. The game's like, Boo -doo -doo -doo, You got a new thing! And I'm like, great. Moving on. <laughs> don't even look at it. Just hit the button. Do you know what one of the hardest things in this game to do is? In my opinion. Are you ready for this one? Watch somebody play Stardew who's fishing, and then also be fishing yourself at the same time. And see if you can do it without 
accidentally like trying to catch a fish that was in the video and not actually like on your screen. Read it again. What was that? Read it again? Because we already have it? Okay. And it gives me experience. Well, I wish I knew how much experience. That would be interesting. I, I know there's mods that show you, like, the experience bars for each skill or whatever. It would be kind of interesting if that was just a part of the game. You know, if that was just, like, a normal thing that you could see. I don't know. Would I like that or not? I'm not sure. For fishing, it would be great. I would argue for combat, it would also be nice to know. And foraging would just make me annoyed, I think, if I, if I knew where it actually was at. Hi, Willie. Good to see you, friend. Are you going fishing today too, Willie? Are you are you going to catch some uh, some sardines and anchovies as well? Because that's mostly what's biting today, it seems like. I say as I reel in another sardine. You know, I'm just warning you. There's a lot of sardines today. We're really thinning out the waters here. Decreasing the local populations of small fish. And we're going to get a chest. Okay. What's in the chest, you may be wondering. Eh, I have no idea. Fire quartz would be great. I don't think I need it for a bundle. I just like getting it. Deluxe bait. Also, I think good. Does it make... I think it makes fish bite even faster than normal bait. I'm just going to kind of hold on to it. Um, until I have like, I don't know, like like 80 or something. And then I'll use it and see how it, see how it goes. Oh, coal. Coal's a nice bonus. I enjoy having coal. We did get some regular bait we should probably put into the fishing rod at some point. It's just sort of taking up an inventory slot over there. Hanging out. Having a good time. 19 inches. Oh my. More deluxe bait. Yeah, this one. This is one I'm talking about. So we, we did 27 casts because we were at 99 bait. And then we're down to 72. But now we have 82 because we put 10 in there. Oh, a fish with some motion in the ocean. Wow. Kind of the first time that happened all day. 17-inch flounder. Oh, man. Pretty awesome. I'm not, I'm not good at fishing in real life. I don't, first of all, have patience for it. But second of all, I think when you, you know, when you go to set the hook, I think I jerk too hard. I think I jerk the fishing rod too hard and it just like, it just gets the hook out of their mouth instead of hooking in. I think I just like pull it through or just pull it out of the range of their mouth as they're trying to bite it. And then you don't catch the fish and then you just get annoyed with yourself. Uh, I do not have the, uh, the touch as it were. Okay, well, that is quite the assortment of items. So is the row that you get when you get a fishing chest with a row, is it always related to the fish that you just caught? Is that... Is that how that works? Maybe? Speaking of having money, we could get the max level fishing rod. 34 inches! Wow, okay. So that's uh, that's what, almost, what, three feet? Oh, running low on the energy there, Hillhelm. You should maybe pay attention to what you're doing in life. Just out here imagining I have all the energy in the world to uh, fish as many times as I want to, but no, that is not the case. There are limits. Hello there. Well, let's eat some berries, I suppose. We'll have a couple here. Uh, like, what, five, maybe? Four or five? 
I mean, it will take a little while to get back through that amount of energy. You know, you don't want to you don't want to overeat. Because then you have wasted energy, and that's not what you want. And we have so much in our inventory already that it might get tricky here in a minute. As far as uh, what we should keep and whatever. Fortunately, we are catching fish that we've already caught, so it's not it's not taking up any new slots of inventory. But if we get another super chest with like four items in it, that's going to get it's going to get really tricky. Not going to be a good spot for those. I should probably make some more preserve jars. We have a lot of row. And turning that into uh, aged row one at a time is going to take a long, quite a long while. So I should probably try to make a couple more of those. What do you need? How much coal do you need for those? Is it like beehives? Do you need a lot? Do you need like, like eight or nine or something? Not sure. Did we level up fishing again yet? Doesn't look like it. Getting level 10 fishing would be pretty awesome. Hello, sea jelly. Excellent. So we have river jelly and we have sea jelly. And I don't know what we need those for. I know it's for a crafting recipe later in the game. That's all I know. I'm okay with my ignorance there. I think you also need the uh, cave jelly, which you would get, obviously, fishing in the mining cave. Which I didn't want to do today because I think that'll be like a special let's go and fish until we get this sort of day. And uh, I wanted to actually, you know, make some money off of fishing today. Because <laughs> mostly what we'll catch there is garbage. Uh, maybe we try to wait for Linus's like garbage quest and try and do it then? Yeah, that could be. You know, we have to go and maybe when we get the lava eel floor and we could try to get the get the cave jelly when we get lava eels? Uh, I don't know. It's something to think about. Boop, boop. All right there, fish. How you doing today? You doing well? Thank you for the perfect catch. I appreciate you. Bloop. And another little bloop. And a third little bloop. And all the little bloops everywhere. Boop, boop. All right, perfect. We got five seaweed. Mission completed. Back to the farm. Go sell our... I was going to say ill-gotten gains, but they're really not ill-gotten. They're just hard hard worked for. We'll go sell the fruit of our labor. Go sell what we have spent all day working on obtaining. Abigail, where were you at Wednesday? It, it's, it's late. Were you in the woods? Maybe. Maybe she was in the woods. Maybe. Click, 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 click. Click, click. Do we have any room? Uh, we have a little room, and we can sell this. Excellent. We'll put one of those in there. <laughs> right. Selling the fish. Uh, what? Do you, how much energy do you need? 98. Boy, it's kind of tempting to keep those around a little. You know, a little, isn't it? I mean, that is a lot of energy and health. Um. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we keep those around. Can sell the anchovy. Boy, that is definitely a, a good amount of energy. Right. So we'll put those in there. We'll put that in there. And we're going to need another chest again. All right, let's get out another 50 here. We will make a water chest. So things that are water slash fishing related. Uh, bait as well. Bug meat. Yep, that's cool. Uh, your bait also. The river jelly. Okay. The trash, maybe? Do we put trash in there? I guess we 
could. All right, that will work. Okay, chest. And then where do I want the chest? Um, I'll put it over here. That's fine. Put all of this fishing stuff in there, and then uh, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it blue. Okay. Like a blue green. Organize. Oh, very nice. And we have the jewelry, and we have the prehistoric tool, both of which we can utilize later. All right, time for sleep. Yes. Good night, kitty cat tiger. See you tomorrow. Go to sleep. Boom. All right, how much do we make? Okay, not bad. Not bad. Uh, 50 for each sardines. Not terrible. 93 for a flounder's okay. The rest of the fish, not worth a ton. Halibut are all right. Halibut. You get enough halibut, you're doing good. Foraging. Uh, okay, horseradish and leeks are worth the most money there. Uh, kale, not doing too bad for selling, actually. And uh, we had a ton of potatoes, which is good. All right, well, well, good, good. Almost 4K. That puts us at almost, what, right around 12, doesn't it? Well, then. We're doing well for the end of spring. All right. And our pickaxe is ready. We're going to go pick that up. Okay, friends, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate all of you watching. Thanks for all the likes, the subscribes, the comments, and the attention, uh, the time that it takes to watch the videos. Appreciate very much everything that you put into this channel. Thank you for being here and being a good friend. We'll see you in the next episode. Until then, hope you have a great day. Hope you have a great week. And we'll see you next time.